I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. Okay, who's your favorite person? Oh, without a doubt, one hundred percent. I know that's right. It seems like Steve Harvey's eldest son has let slip some intriguing details about his father, Steve Harvey. Based on reports, there was actually internal family fighting because of Steve's obsession with his stepdaughter, Lori. A source even said that some jealousy was lingering amongst the siblings over Lori, who has been taking the spotlight with everything. The source remarked, they're driving him crazy. He did the right thing adopting Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own, but there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clans. According to the source, Steve's way of handling the feud has always been to throw money at them, buy them gifts, or just go into another room to chomp on a cigar. For those who've been following the family, you've probably noticed that the feud between the family members goes beyond Steve being obsessed with Lori. So what exactly is going on? Steve Harvey has a big family and he wouldn't have it any other way. Family is my reason why. I work to leave a legacy and hopefully the world a better place for them. The Family Feud host and executive producer shared on a 2017 Instagram post. The comedian first added dad to his long list of titles in August 1982, when Harvey welcomed twin daughters Carly and Brandy with his first wife, Marsha. In 1991, the couple added a son, Broderick, to the brood, but the union wouldn't go beyond their third child's toddler years. In 1994, Harvey and Marsha divorced. He immediately jumped into another relationship with Mary Shackelford, which resulted in his second marriage in 1996. The following year, Harvey became a fourth-time father with the addition of his second son, Winton, born that July. Harvey and Shackelford's marriage ended in a messy divorce in 2005. Once again, Harvey wasted no time before moving on. That same year, Harvey started a relationship with Marjorie Bridges. By early 2008, Harvey was saying, I do, a third time. Bridges had three children from a previous relationship, Morgan, Jason, and Lori. Harvey adopted them, making him go from father of four to father of seven overnight. The union of our family has been the greatest thing ever to happen to me. The kids all call me dad, he told Essence in 2008. While his family life had a happy ending, Harvey was strained from some of his children early on. You see, when twins Brandy and Carly Harvey were young, they were admittedly abandoned by their soon-to-be famous father, who chose to pursue his comedic dreams over his family. While speaking with people in 2016, Steve Harvey revealed how he quit his stable gig as an insurance salesman after winning a $50 first place prize at his first ever stand-up show. I'm married, I have twins, I'm supposed to provide for them, but I had to take this chance. His first marriage fell apart and he became estranged from his daughters, but the trio thankfully reconciled years later, giving Harvey a second chance with his eldest kiddos. Having since rebuilt a strong relationship, the comedian recalled how his daughters had told him, Dad, we didn't understand why you left us, but we know now you had to go. You didn't just belong to us, you belong to the world. When Carly tied the knot in 2015, Harvey walked her down the aisle. You're an amazing dad, no matter what, the bride gushed on the Steve Harvey show. You are an amazing man. I wouldn't trade you for the world. I just love you so much. And the feeling is mutual. While celebrating the twins' birthday in 2019, Harvey wrote on Instagram, Along with my mother, these girls of mine were the first time I ever loved anyone more than myself. At I am Brandy Harvey and at I am Carly Raymond, I love you with all my heart. Amid Steve Harvey and Mary Shackelford's contentious split, the comedian ended up getting primary custody of their son, Winton, in 2011 when he was 13, according to the New York Daily News. Shackelford accused Harvey of taking the boy without her consent, but he argued she was the one who wanted Winton to live with him. She willingly placed the child on an airplane and sent him to Mr. Harvey without his knowledge, his defense team contended in court documents. Winton seems to have gone through a lot during his parents' divorce, but Harvey's relationship with Winton remained solid through it all. During a surprise appearance on The Steve Harvey Show on Father's Day in 2015, Winton thanked his father for helping shape him into the man he's become. It's gonna remind me of how much of an influence you were to me and how you basically turned me into a good enough student so I could actually be accepted into college. You were able to turn me around, he said, after showing his father the photo of the two together that he was going to take to Florida International University. Anyway, Steve Harvey has called Marjorie Harvey his wife since 2007, but in over a decade, it seems as though she and Steve's eldest daughters, Brandy and Carly, may have been unable to find common ground. Marjorie is 
fond of spending quality time with her large blended family, but she's repeatedly been accused of shutting the twins out, as they're usually MIA in her family photos. When Marjorie shared a video showcasing the Harvey family's festive home decor during Christmas 2018, for example, fans immediately commented on the twins' noticeable absence. This theme continued the following August, when Marjorie posted an Instagram snapshot of the family enjoying a vacation in Monte Carlo, once again without the twins. In any case, even when he is in the room, Steve manages to keep the twins at arm's length, refraining from any meddling or offering career advice whatsoever. For context, Brandy Harvey got her start as a professional bodybuilder and, as it turns out, was quite successful. In December 2018, she took to Instagram to share a photo of herself competing and winning second place in June 2008. Revealing just how crucial the sport was to her life and career, she wrote, Bodybuilding taught me discipline, a winning mindset, and how to manage my time to reach my my goals. It taught me consistency. You get out what you put in. It's a life sport. While Brandy went on to admit that she wouldn't ever want to compete in bodybuilding again, she explained, I'm on to the next thing to tackle and to crush. That includes being a speaker and wellness expert. These days, Brandy regularly posts fitness and motivational videos to her account and runs beyond her, a community for women to raise their consciousness and become more thoughtfully aware of what we are feeding your mind, body, and soul. In addition to promoting self-care and a plant-based diet, the site focuses on stories, research, and advancements in the health and wellness space shared by women of color. Beyond Her also includes hands-on resources, like the ebook Go Beyond Her, a four-week guide that includes a plant-based lifestyle guide, grocery list, recipes, inspirational messages, journal prompts, and affirmation cards. In addition to motivating her Instagram followers and running beyond her, Brandy Harvey officially added author to her list of achievements when she announced the October 2019 release of Breakthrough Sold Separately, Get Out of the Boat of Mediocrity and Walk on Water. This self-published 115-page book built on Beyond Her's mission, Shake Off the Chains of Your Past and Step Into Your Divine Destiny, read its official Amazon description, as Brandy's first book offered up, a blueprint to lose the victim story and take 100% responsibility for your life. Feel the emotions you've tried so hard to suppress and come out better on the other side. Renew your mind and choose the principles you want to live by. Set clear boundaries with your time and space to get the life and relationships you desire. Ranked at Numdar 194 in the motivational self-help category in the Kindle store shortly following its release. And at the time of this writing, breakthroughs sold separately perhaps hasn't exploded as Brandy may have hoped, but it certainly hasn't been dormant either. While Brandy Harvey has focused most of her energy on pursuing health and wellness and helping others do the same, twin sister Carly has chosen to devote herself entirely to her growing family. After tying the knot in September, 2015, Carly and her beau, basketball player turned mentor Benjamin Raymond, welcome son BJ Raymond in 2016. Take one look at Carly's Instagram feed and you'll see it's filled with the two most important people in her life, her husband and her son. She regularly posts adorable pictures of her baby boy with sweet captions like, my whole heart, and I am so grateful for you. You are love in its purest form. The proud mom also has plenty of love to share for her beau. While celebrating their anniversary in 2019, she gushed, I am so grateful for your love, friendship, partnership, companionship, patience, kindness, support, and forgiveness. Thank you, Ben Raymond, for loving me just as I am. My life is more beautiful because you are in it. I love you more and more each day. Hash Team Raymond. These lovebirds have also shared their love story in an effort to empower and inspire other couples. In July 2019, Carly and Benjamin took part in the Black Love Summit. That September, they appeared on an episode of Owns Black Love, a docu-series showcasing stories of love in the Black community. In addition to their busy schedules, Steve Harvey's twin daughters, Brandy and Carly, are avid believers in taking time to empower young girls. In addition to their 2010 work with Young, Fit & Fly to inspire students to be physically fit, fashionably fit, financially fit, and fit for business, making you unquestionably fly, they've also worked with Disney Dreamers Academy to motivate teen girls to be their best possible selves for nearly a decade. In 2017, for example, they explored the link between fashion and confidence. While speaking about their goal with the Grio, Carly revealed that their message to attendees was simple, that you don't have to change who you are to be special, that if you just embrace who you are, what you look like, then you will shine. Brandy elaborated on the importance of the seminar, noting, when you start to alter yourself and change yourself, especially as a young girl, and you haven't even fully developed into this woman that you're going to be, then how are you setting up your life? The sisters also spoke about self-love 
love at a 2019 event where they taught young girls, although pretty comes with its privileges, it will be your substance that keeps you in the room, that to be successful you will need to be smart, well-read, and hardworking. Pretty is cool, but what else do you offer the world? It is obvious that the twins' knack for motivational talk and skills might just be a family trait inherited from none other than Steve Harvey. Yet, it's quite peculiar that despite being a supposed pro in the game, he's never dished out any advice to guide them in their careers. On the other hand, Steve is really hands-on in parenting Lori, and he is her number one cheerleader. You see, Lori was 10 years old when her mom remarried, and Steve has played an influential role in her life ever since. As a child, Lori had a passion for horses and dreamed of being an Olympian. At age 18, she injured her back in an equestrian competition. Due to the seriousness of her injury, Steve and Marjorie were concerned for Lori's safety, and they motivated their daughter to consider new career alternatives. Lori's gone on to become a successful model and launch her own skincare line. As an adult, Lori continues to rely on her close bond with Steve, especially especially her celebrity dad's guidance for life and love in the spotlight. In honor of Steve Harvey's 58th birthday in 2015, Lori Harvey and her siblings appeared on Steve's talk show, Steve Harvey, to share special memories they had of times with their dad. When it was her turn, Lori talked about a special father-daughter outing that happened when she was around 15. At the time, Lori explained to her dad that she wanted to start dating. During a meal at Lori's favorite Japanese restaurant, Steve and his adopted daughter had a heartfelt chat. You just told me, you always supported me, and you'd always be there for me no matter what, and you loved me unconditionally, Lori reminisced to Steve. Since then, Lori's dated some high-profile individuals, including P. Diddy. According to reports, rumors began circulating speculating that Lori had started dating Sean Diddy Combs in July 2019. The pair were pictured together numerous times in Italy, Mexico, New York City, and Atlanta during their alleged romance. During one of their vacations, Lori was spotted with her arm around Diddy during a dinner with Lori's stepfather, Steve Harvey. Diddy's son, Christian Combs, even gave an insight into their relationship during a red carpet appearance, saying, They are good. They're just being private time. That's up to them. While the pair never publicly spoke about their relationship, people close to them mentioned that they might have only been a fling, as opposed to being a full-blown couple. Him and Lori had a fun fling, but Diddy is still healing and focusing on himself right now, explains our insider. He is not ready to be in a long-term committed relationship and is focusing on his kids right now. Actually, when rumors of Lori's relationship with Diddy began circulating, another rumor started online that Lori used to date Diddy's son Justin Combs in 2018. In addition to dating Trey Songs, shortly after her split with him, Lori reportedly dated Lewis Hamilton. Lori also split with Michael B. Jordan back in June 2022. As for the reason why she broke up with Michael, a source told people that Lori realized they weren't on the same page while making plans for their future. She was even engaged to Dutch football player Memphis Depay at one point. Lori has also already split up with Dams and Idris after just three months, and fans were not surprised because they called BS on that relationship the moment Damson revealed that his ex would always be in their lives. I mean, why would a woman who respects herself pursue a relationship with a man who's letting it be known that he's keeping his ex around, unless of course that relationship was just for clout like every other relationship Lori was in. But you know which relationship Steve Harvey wanted to last forever? The one with Michael B. Jordan, and it looks like Steve is also obsessed with that part of Lori's love life because he won't stop talking about the breakup. Like early last year, he was talking about how Lori is in a really good place in her life right now after her split from Michael B. Jordan. He said during his appearance on Today with Hoda and Jenna, that while he is not allowed to talk about anything regarding his daughter's personal life, he's confident that Lori has done a really good job of figuring it out and getting it right. But despite this, the question that lingers in the grapevine is whether Steve's persistent chatter about Lori's recent breakup with Michael B. Jordan suggests a lingering fondness for Lori's ex, Michael, for reasons that go beyond mere paternal concern. Some speculative whispers in the gossip mill suggest that Michael may have been the closest Steve got to having someone else share the financial responsibilities of Lori Lori's high-profile lifestyle. The breakup has become a focal point of discussion, with various theories circulating about Steve's apparent emotional investment in the matter. Some observers theorize that Michael's departure has left a void, not just in Lori's life, but also in Steve's, as he perhaps found solace in having someone like Michael around who could potentially share the financial burdens associated with Lori's extravagant lifestyle. While it's essential to tread carefully when delving into the personal lives of celebrities, especially when it involves family dynamic, the Rumors and speculations persist, creating a swirl of intrigue around the Harvey family. Additionally, sources claim that Lori
Lori's relationship with Steve took a hit after the future situation. In an effort to mend ties with her father, Lori strategically used her relationship with Michael, presenting him as a refined gentleman with a solid reputation in Hollywood. The intention, it seems, was to restore dignity to her image and repair the strained relationship with her father. Michael, known for his polished demeanor and positive standing in the entertainment industry, could have served as a deliberate choice to win Steve's approval and mend the familial bond. This strategic move, however, hasn't escaped the watchful eyes of gossip mongers, who speculate that the relationship was more about restoring Lori's standing in the eyes of her father than about genuine romantic compatibility. The rumors gained traction when considering Steve's persistent involvement in Lori's ventures. For instance, keen observers point out how Steve strategically invested in a skincare line following Lori's involvement with Michael. The timing raises eyebrows, suggesting a potential correlation between Steve's financial decisions and Lori's Lori's romantic entanglement. Whether Steve's investments are genuinely tied to Lori's relationships or mere coincidences remains a matter of speculation. However, the fact that Steve refuses to let go of discussions surrounding Lori's breakup with Michael adds fuel to the gossip fire. It raises questions about whether Steve's continued commentary is driven by genuine concern for his daughter's well-being, or if there's an underlying sentiment related to the perceived loss of a potential financial ally in Michael. Steve Harvey consistently dishes out dating advice to the public, yet his own daughter daughter Lori manages to make headlines for all the wrong reasons in the realm of romance. The glaring question arises, why does Steve seemingly turn a blind eye to his daughter's choices? Could his obsession with her be clouding his judgment, allowing her to run wild with little intervention? And let's not overlook the extravagant indulgence Steve showers upon Lori, prompting many to wonder if there's a deeper dynamic at play. The paradox between Steve's dating wisdom and Lori's romantic misadventures becomes even more intriguing when one delves into the dynamic of their relationship. Is Steve overly obsessed with Lori, fostering an environment where she feels entitled to do as she pleases without repercussions? The public can't help but question the apparent lack of guidance from the man who often positions himself as an authority on matters of the heart. The issue of favoritism comes to the forefront, especially when examining how Steve spoils Lori compared to his other children. In one of Lori's TikTok videos, she unabashedly showcased one of her preferred ways of being spoiled by her father, captioning the video with a cheeky reference to Steve. Steve Harvey. You know when I come out with my parents, I just bring my wallet for decoration. I never actually plan to use it. The nonchalant manner in which Lori flaunts her indulgences raises eyebrows, prompting onlookers to question the extent of Steve's generosity. While it's undeniable that Steve has the financial means to pamper his daughter, the disparity in treatment among his children does not go unnoticed by keen observers. In fact, one observer commented on this saying, I always found it annoying how much he gives attention to Lori compared to his own biological kids. A a second person added, I think it's obvious what's going on here. He is not obsessed. Lori is the child he wish he could produce. She fits the standard of beauty and came from a woman who chose over his previous baby mother. He likes the aesthetic of having a beautiful child. I'm not saying his other kids are ugly, but the bias is obvious. Yikes, I sure hope that is not the case. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.